One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely stunning 2009 Mercedes-Benz S63 AMG. A car all to its own, man. This thing is bad to the bone. Luxury, ride, comfort, power, performance, sport, cornering. It's all here, man. And plus, this thing basically drives itself for you. It really does. Um, we cleaned it up last night, and it's a windy day, but I'm going to do a complete exterior video here. Um, in the description below, and at the end of this video, you'll see links to the interior video and test drive. I'm going to do a couple videos on this car, and like I say, this is the exterior. I'm going to show you the tires. I'm just trying to shoot down the side here like I usually don't do at that angle. It just it's got so many beautiful angles on it. I like to keep it centered as much as I can. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is zoom in too close just for that too close zoom in. Hopefully I'm out now. Come on! There we go. Underneath we go. It's got all the factory flaring or plasticky. All that stuff here is under it. For sure. All the grilling down here. It's not too scuffed up, but there is some scuffs underneath this thing. Like right there. So they've curbed it a bit underneath this. It's not cracked. We're split up anywhere, just a little bit coming up above right there. Tiny rock things. This here should be all buffed out, and a lot of that would come out. Um, absolutely beautiful. The paint is just awesome on it. Great shape. Okay, so I'm gonna go down the side, show you all that, show you the tires, wheels, and like I say, they're just absolutely stunning. Everything about this car is just pretty amazing. There's dust on it from sitting around for a day. A little smudge right there that's from me looking under the hood, checking the fluids. Um, it's got this sticker on it, which of course would come off, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Factory windshield. Little teeny chicky chick chips. Nothing to where it's a chip or crack or nothing, but there's a few of them miscellaneously spread around. Um, going down the sides, as far as door dings go, it's a pretty straight car. This got this on it too. Kind of cool. So, lenses all look good. Little teeny smudgy scratch right there that was touched up. Right there and there, and you can tell. Just barely. There's also one, looks like, right there. And right here. Just very hard to tell. A little dust on the back from just sitting. You can see my fingerprint there that I went through it. It's in great shape, man. No big chips, dents, or paint flaws or damages, so to speak of. Besides those couple that I showed you were touched up. I'm sure there's a door ding somewhere. I just don't see it, man. Just don't see it. Chrome trim and everything down here looks great. We're gonna go back down this thing again. Now, a lot of people, it's about the specs of the car when they do reviews. With me, it's definitely not about the specs of the car. I figure you can Wikipedia that yourself. For me, it's about the shape of the car. Showing you how the wheel wells looked. Make sure you didn't hit something, it's all bashed up. Now he's got Yoko Mamas on it. Hang on now. Sumitomos. <laughs> it's got Yokohamas on the back. Plenty of tread up here, little titties all over the side. Chrome trim all looks good. It's got the key and stuff where you just walk up to the car and grab it and open it, even if it's locked and if the key's with you. It opens. I think that, yeah, the wheels are staggered. They're a little bigger on the back. It's got a 295 35 20 on the back, and it's got a 275 35 20. So, a little bit wider on the back. And there are Yokohama. Yokohama! And they have a lot of tread you left, but I think you could take care of that in a couple weeks if you really wanted to. Get that burnt down to just nothing. The car's badass, is what I'm saying. If you want something, look at these tips. Hey, factory. 
It says something up there. AMG. It says AMG on the tops of them. Nice the way everything sets. All kind of basically flush. I like it. This is not anything on it. It's just dust from today. Okay, so that's like a little bit of bee poo or something. Pollen is a lot of what gets around here in this season. but bubble gum right there. My camera's getting hot. These wheel wells are in great shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. Show you down the sides in a second to where I'm not overheated. Okay, cool to back down a bit. We're back at it. I can say these tires look good. A little delaminated on the top of that. <laughs> I'm being so picky just to make sure and show you everything. I don't see dings, man. I see dings indoors. Not on this one. This one is clean as can be. I'm gonna go back down the side of it. A little smudge. Kind of like a rock hit that. It didn't chip it or nothing. A little smudge right there. Down the sides. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Windows, glass are all good. I'm just gonna say there's a ding, but I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna say. That is basically the exterior review of this car. I'm actually going to walk around it again and think about it. Now I know it's 536 horse, I think is what Wikipedia said. Um, this is a 09. I do dig the little badges and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll show the trunk now or something. And just walk around. I don't remember any, absolutely any damage on this thing. Um, I was going to show you here. I just like the AMG stamped wheel. The AMG stamped this, AMG stamped that. Neumburgerine or whatever under the sticker there. Kind of cool. If you're looking for a nice, unique car, this is it. It's not much more than an S550. Um, it's got the sensors for the back, for the front, for the sides. Little red triangle pops up in the mirror when you shouldn't get over. Stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, other than that, one owner car guy, 406 546 8748. I've got to take this thing up to my mom's here and grab the. I had wipe down stuff. I didn't even wipe it down. I think you just sensed the key. I'm going to do a full test drive in a different video. Um, hey, now I have the radio on. Can't have the radio on. Copyright type issues. Now I'm going to get you a better test drive here in a minute. Damn, kids had the roll windows rolled down. But. As nice as it gets. And there's a unique Mercedes for you. Not for sale, but unique. Daytime driving lamp. I mean, it's got it all, man. It's just. If you're looking for a great Mercedes Benz, this is it. Call me anytime. Check out my website. There'll be about 100 pictures on there. 406-546-8748, oneownercarguy.com. Okay, as kind of an add-on to that daytime video, I'm taking one up here with a more shadowy look, and you can tell this thing is just straight as can be, nice as can be, reflection every which way you want to look at it. Um, just wanted to get you a view at a different time of day. I got a pole here right there that I'm gonna miss and I kinda got out of frame, sorry. Beautiful car. I don't know why that badge is only on the one side. I might get a badge for the other side. Probably somebody took it off. And that's the deal, beautiful car. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna clip this in. I just know that I should have this kind of a, a look for you as well. So thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. OneOwnerCarGuy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here for you today 
is the interior review of this 2009 Mercedes-Benz AMG S63 or S63 AMG. It's in great shape. I'm going to do a really quick walk around, show you the outside of it. Um, I've already done an exterior review showing you anything on the car that may be off, and there ain't much on that. Now it's going to be the interior. Uh, if you want to see the exterior video, you can click the link down in the video below, or down in the description below, and click on over there. Okay, I have got actually my Google Glass bag with me, and I'm going to have to set it in the car at some point to get this thing easier to film. So, just going around it, I just want to take that once around and show you the car once around. OneOwnerCarGuide.com for probably about a hundred pictures of this car and all three videos, including the test drive. Okay, so, that's your once around. I'm telling you what, it's one clean car. I'm swinging this thing on my arm, so I'm going to set it in here. Now, I am not gonna tell you that I'm going to get every option on this car. For me, there's just no way. I don't know all the options on this car. Uh, I don't think, maybe somebody does. And the funny thing is they probably don't have one and they know everything about it. I mean, it is quite an awesome car. However, there's more options than a guy could shake a stick at. Uh, okay, so motor. Big old stinking 6.3 liter. 536 horse or something like that. You can look it up on Wikipedia. I'm not 100% sure. Actual Mercedes-Benz battery and all that. This is a beautiful car. Um, look at this. Clean as can be. Even all these seals up here. This one's hanging off a little bit. And that one's hanging off a little bit. It's kind of got a gouge in it right there. But look down at here, the actual motor. And I really didn't have to clean this one up. It's just clean, 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 clean car. Little crack in that piece right there. This is a plastic piece on the front of the air boxes. God, it's nice. Okay, still got the nice hood film insulation or whatever you want to call it up there. And that's kind of under the hood. Mercedes-Benz and AMG recommend Mobile One. Interesting. It's got the Xenon headlights or whatever. 25,000 volts, if you can read that. The Baj. We don't need no stinking Bajes, but we like Bajes. That'll come off easy. Ooh, look at that. Radar eye thing looking at me there. I have no clue what that is. It's probably the Distatronic thing, and there's six little odd shaped buttons in that part. I'm gonna try and get you a close-up of that. I don't even, I don't have a clue, man. I don't know, there's probably sensors in the bumpers and stuff, because um, it beep, beep, beeps when you get too close to something in the front. Um, when you're turning, when you pass someone, this turns orange, and if you put your blinker on, it'll turn red if someone's too close. Okay, let's look at the pedals. Brushed aluminum type racing pedals, or whatever you will. AMG floor mats. The only problem I found in here is the little turnbuckle thing here. It ripped from what was around that. And I'll tell you, I would just get somebody to sew that up and keep that floor mat just fine. Nothing wrong with it. Door panels and everything are in great shape. They've got little pockets in here and stuff. The seats are absolutely comfortable as can be. They got these little AMG buttons in them. Just clean car. Um, I'm gonna show you the back seat. Now I'm carrying this damn thing again. I'm gonna put it in the back seat. I'll show you the seat first. It's in great shape. There's a little dust or something on it right there. And I think it just mostly came off. Um, Same console with a drink holder. That. It's got a center headrest. Pretty nice car, man. Um, these carpets and rugs and formats are near perfect. Beside, look, there's ambient lighting or whatever you want to call it. Gold coin, gold coin. Ooh. Actually, 
little piece of plastic that goes to something that I'm not seeing. Probably a piece of the bottom there of the seat along these rails or something. I don't know. Suede headliner. It's in great shape. Vanity mirrors and such. Great shape. That one. Oh, I gotta put it down up the front. Headrest is all the way up on that one. I think this thing just locked. It sure did. I've got my key in my pocket. I must have bumped it. See, it sucks the mirrors in when you lock it. Kind of cool. Bluetooth thing or um, Sirius thing or whatever. I love them AMG logos. That opens by itself. It also closes by itself. It doesn't look like they ever even use the trunk of this thing. Spare tire. There's still titties on the tread of it. It ain't never been on the road. There's even little white gloves in here. You feel like some kind of silk or something. Jack and all that stuff's in here. With the instructions still in there. Tool kit. Such. And just maybe remember I didn't get a pictures of the trunk. Just absolutely beautiful car. Um, air conditioned seats in the back. These things go back. My bag's there, sorry. They go back a long ways, actually. They go down in the front. The whole thing comes out. They actually. This part goes up. There, oh, that takes that down. I don't know what that does. Hmm, that's some kind of a heater or something. Oh, let me get in here. That is air can air cooled. Oh, the key's got to be on. This is air cooled and heated for the seats. I love them AMG formats. great condition. A little something on the seat right there. They didn't even really clean this up good enough. It's just, it was so clean. Um, it's got the books. Let's go to the trunk for this. Just kind of pull the handle and it does everything for you, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's get this done fast. Sorry, I should have been more ready with the owner's manual here. These dogs hate me. So that's, that's all of it, man. Um, all kinds of books. Okay. I might actually just shut this off right now and get the pictures. I want to. I'm gonna. Okay, I took some videos, but that's the button you push in it. Does its own little thing there. Harman Kardon on the stereo equipment. I don't know what this is rightly. I think it's something to stream something. It's tuned to air. You can look it up. These all close and open nicely. Um, okay, I'm gonna start this up. I'm gonna actually show you this seat working. There's forward, there's the butt part forward, there's up in the back, down in the back, up in the front, down in the front, up on the recline, down on the recline. This one's actually a lot higher than the other one. And that headrest is up in the air. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a compartment on the front of the seats. Excuse me. Same thing here. It's a working deal. Ugh. 
Oops. There we go. Down. Now forward. Now backward. Now the recline. Now the unrecline or whatever. Now the headrest. It just all's. It's all here. Now, you're going to have to forgive me here. I can work the mirror now. You know. Okay, let's see. Let's start this bad boy up. Whoa, it starts right up and I got music. So I see the little things in the mirror. Okay. So look this side. Out. In. Down. Up. Left side. Out. In. Down. Up. Up. Until it works. You got the paddle shift. I don't know what a radar sensor is or none of that. I know if you flip through this stuff, it shows you the navigation here, it'll show you the navigation there, it'll show you your radio here, it'll show your volts and all that stuff. Telephone, free brake assist, blind spot assist, I don't know. Zero messages for server, or service. This is really unique. It opens this way. I think that's where you plug in a phone. We also have this and the SOS up here. That hits your lights there. I have no clue what any of this is. Oh, there you go. You hit that and that opens up. Okay, so that opens up like that. Open that. Okay, now, this one opens like this. Then you keep, go again and it'll tilt it and open it all by itself. I'm gonna turn this down, I'm sorry. It was hotter than it is now, earlier. Now do you do it again. You go forward. That'll close the roof thing. That one will close that. It's pretty cool. Um, everything here. I don't know what else to say. And the clock works, and the uh, paddle shift works, and this here knob, you turn. I don't even have this figured out yet. Like on the vehicle. You can do all this kind of stuff. So much stuff. Navigation all works also. Radio and all that. I, I don't. I, I. I just really. Oh, there goes the thing in the back. That was that button. Oh, there goes that. That was that button. I don't know what that one did. Windows. They work on the auto down. I don't. See there them. Things go up. They got little screens, and then you hit it again, and they go down. And it even goes over that little watch. It goes over that little back window too. <coughs> Once everything's down, that goes down fine. I can't think of anything else. Cup holders. Discs. Hmm. Actually looks like a cassette tape, but I doubt that. Has all the auto locks at work, of course. Memory seating. That's your cool. Wow, I'm feeling it. It's going. That's the warm.
and that's about it. There's so many more things to show you. Like, watch this. Oh, we gotta apply the brake. Let's shoot it in the center. I'll show you on the test drive how the parking sensors work. It's pretty cool. You just push in that to stop it. All the lights and stuff, all the warnings, nothing bad. That's your traction control. You might become familiar with that. Parking sensors. I don't know what these buttons are. I don't know. I mean, you're going to have a lot to learn here with this car. <laughs> it's definitely got some gadgets and stuff in it. Um, I didn't want to get close enough to that wall to make it hit my neighbor's wall or something. Oh, I was all zoomed in. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that's about all I can say. That's your interior video. I'm going to take a couple more pictures and tell you thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. All your pictures and all that of this car. It's for sale. S63 AMG. Beautiful car. Nathan, 406-546-8748. Test drive video and the exterior video down in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the test drive of this beautiful 2009 S63 AMG. Beautiful car. Runs and drives like a top. Ain't nothing I can complain about. I've actually drove it around for about eh, a weekend and a couple days. A weekend and a scotch. How's that? Uh, love it. Um, it's a great driving car. In the whole gist of things, I'm happy with the W140, older S-Class, but it is an awesome car. I guess my thing is, man, there's a lot of power, and I like to use that power. So I just worry about me and that power. Does that make any sense? Hope so. Okay, test drive. I'm just gonna get in and go for a ride. Man, there is every option on this car. Big ass tires in the back. Um, a lot of these videos you see on YouTube are a. Yeah, I like that. They're a um, <clears throat> a review of the type of car it is with all the specs and the technical data, parking sensors, or whatever. I don't know what this crap is called. So many options. Paddle shift. I'm gonna do this at first with the windows up. <clears throat> to where you can um, experience with the windows up. Then we'll do it with the windows down. And it keeps that gear ratio really high when you get on it until you get off of it after it keeps it up a second. Now, I don't have my seat belt on. That's kind of an issue. I'm gonna set this right here. Wouldn't be an issue if the Mercedes wasn't dinging. Okay. So, that's that. You do have a traction control button, ESP. I thought that's what I had.
So like now the traction control is off. <clears throat> traction without breaking it loose but if you get on a little bit differently from the start it breaks them loose I'm here to tell you that's beautiful up there I don't know if you can see the Kim trails let's go it just goes I just gave it a good bit there to where you can see it really grab that's pretty much my getting on it for the day. I just don't have a lot of get on it for you. Sorry. Um, do you want to see somebody running them as hard as they can? That'll be a different test drive for somebody. I don't really have that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. And I guess I'll leave the traction control off. But that's the deal. That's the test drive. Now, would a AMG video be complete without a um, jog down the highway? No, I'm gonna take this one down the highway for you. Don't usually go down the highway, but I'm gonna get ready on this one, and I went, you know what? I'm gonna go down the highway. Now I put the traction control back on. that bump and it slowed a little. Man, that's just right up to the speed limit. You want to pass somebody? I mean, it's just powerful as can be. That's just a little bit of pedal there. So, Bridge here, we have to wait at the light though. Gosh darn it. It's man, I'll tell you, if you're talking like Chevelle Super Sport, like 67 Chevelle Super Sport or 69 Charger or something, there's just no comparison. Yeah, buddy. It's just as nice as it gets. All the tacks and the gauges work. The navigation and all works. I don't understand everything. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I don't understand anything with this thing. I wish I did. But the navigation I was just showing you, it moves and all there. Okay. That's just so badass. Drives beautifully. You can get up and go too. mess with the little eclipse. It's got such a nice power band. It really does. Okay, that is your test drive of the E63 or E63 S63 AMG. I'm going to take it up this way so I can get a couple more pictures. Just a blast to drive. It always cops up here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and 
turns this thing in like this. And back her up. So I can get a few pictures. In the Mickey D's parking lot. That is your test drive. I'm gonna throw some pictures in here with this. Got a link for your cell phone. Um, this will close up like that. It's got cup holders and rotary dial thing. And man, it's just got everything. Now I want to take that with. Also, has the backup camera. And when you get a little close. You know. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, back at you. And I just had to show you the, the PAF auction. Pretentious as fill in the blank. Um, look at that. It's got the Mercedes Benz logo that goes down underneath the doors, which is quite cool. Um, quite a cool option. It's actually a very, uh, it's an older car now. It's not, it's an 09. So, I mean, I guess that option on the newer ones. They could have like a jet launcher under it by now. I don't know. But I'm going to show you up close on it. It's pretty cool. All the lighting and stuff. Shines AMG on the driver's side. Shines the Mercedes logo with the blue on the other side. It is not that late yet. It's still pretty much light. Like if you're having a job and you're outside working, at this time of day you should still be freaking working that kind of day. So like you got about 20 more minutes till it's good and dark. And when it's good and dark, these are quite a bit more blue, but that's pretty blue right there, buddy. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, just wanted to show you the quick logos to add in. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, Nathan, 406-546-8748. will literally get you anything you're looking for at auction. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Okay, so, OneOwnerCarGuy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com that's your test drive, man. You've had a test drive. Check out the description below. You'll see a link for the interior and a link for the exterior. This car is as nice as it gets. If you're looking for a AMG car, look no farther. Call me up. Nathan, 406-546-8748. And my name is Nate. And like I say, about 100 pictures on oneownercarguy.com. Um... I'm even going to take a couple more just because of how nice it looks here at the Mickey D's. So thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com